Hi guys, Samantha from Jessima Tutorials here and today I'm going to show you how to create a fun organic uh, seaside uh, pendant. So I've got some white Primo here, it's been run out on my thickest setting and I've also got, got some black embossing powder. I'm just going to take some of that, don't need too much. It's completely up to you how much you want to add. I just add on a bit. And then I will mix that into the clay. Generally I'll run it through the pasta machine until it's completely mixed in. There we go. And now we have a nice distribution of the mica powder, of the uh, embossing powders. Now, the trick to today's tutorial is going to be crayons. So any wax crayon should work. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put that to the side. And I've chosen a variety of blues and a brown that matches. And I'm just going to chop off bits of this. And we're mostly looking for the coloured wax. So that's why we're using crayons. And I might use a little more brown. There we go. Okay, then I want you to just take those and carefully just chop them down. They should actually kind of crumble on their own for the most part. But I want you to just chop those down into small pieces. There we go, and I've got them roughly in different colour groups. So then I'm going to bring this over here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of sprinkle the pieces around. The brown I kind of want all over, whereas the blues I kind of want to uh, speckle them around in different uh, areas. And you can use any colours you want, obviously you do not have to just use uh, blues and browns, any colour crown will work for this. There we go. And I'll just grab the remaining bits. I'm just going to sprinkle that on. Okay, remove that. Right, then I'm going to grab a piece of paper. bring this over. I don't want to spread the wax. Okay. And I'll just spread that around a little bit more so we get a little bit of mixing uh, between the colours. Okay, grab paper, pop that down and then use your roller to roll over the clay so that you embed uh, the wax. And I just use the paper to kind of keep everything in place, but once that's done, I'll just bring my roller over like so. Okay, then just wipe it off because you will have some crayon sticks to it. And just wipe away the excess. Put that up carefully. Okay, and then we're going to bring over our stamp. And I've just got some cornstarch here, and I'm just going to tap that over the stamp, like so. I'm not going to put it on the clay. You can if you want, but I'll just do a stamp. And I'm just going to blow to get rid of most of the excess. Get rid of that on the tile. Bring this over. Can I lay that? Cross in the area that I want. I'll bring over a piece of paper again just so that the clay doesn't stick to my fingers and then I'll press that firmly into the stamp. Then grab a texture, uh, anything that's easy to just kind of press into the clay. Uh, it does sh probably should not be a uh, pattern like on a texture stamp or a uh, roller, just something like a sandpaper or a very easily repeatable texture like so and then just go over the whole surface and make sure that you have that pressed in so that the back looks nice okay okay and I'll lift that up and we should be able to lift that out of the texture just be careful when doing it So. 
there we go. Just took a bit of fiddling. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Now just that uh, texture can be a little tricky because the um, these parts over here where the barnacles are uh, go quite deep and so it can be a little tricky to get that out. Alright, then I'm going to grab my cutter of choice which is going to be my largest maxi pebble. Just choosing a nice spot. That'll work. Just press down. Like so. Okay. And then lift that up. And I'm gonna have it balanced on this piece. No. Just gonna bring over a piece of paper. And then I'm going to take this, this is optional, but I want to kind of have a little bit of a border. So I'm going to bring over my sponge and just around the very edges I'm going to press down quite hard to kind of create a beveled effect. And then later we will antique that. Just around the edges. And this is optional, again, you do not have to do exactly what I'm doing. And I know that it looks a bit messy right now. Once it's baked, uh, we'll be able to lift a bit of that crayon wax out and you'll see how nice it looks. There we go. Then I'm just going to position this in the middle. Like so. And just press down. Just remove that. There we go. And now I'm going to put that into the oven for a full hour at pretty much recommend temperature. And what I'd recommend doing is just popping a tissue over the top and this will soak up the wax as it melts. Okay, and here it is uh, baked. So after it comes straight out of the oven, what I do is I'll take that tissue and I'll just dab in here to really soak up any uh, leftover crayon that's kind of melting. Uh, still and we'll soak that up. So now we are going to antique it just so that we can uh, make out those details more. So I'm going to bring over some black acrylic paint. I'll just squeeze a bit of that out. Then I will bring over some burnt umber and I'll probably put in twice as much there. Then mix that together. Okay. Now I'm going to take a, uh, I just basically ripped a makeup sponge in half, I'll just rip it up a bit again, there we go, and I'll basically just take that and I'm going to dab it down so that I have very little paint on there, and then I'm just going to go over the surface, like so. And this should highlight our texture. And just go slowly, don't have big gobs of paint on there because it will um, ultimately not work out. Just go slowly and continue to layer it. Okay, and then once I've got a decent amount, I'm just going to grab some of that paint. And then I'm going to go around the edge and I'm going to make sure that I have a decent amount of paint there so that I create a slight border effect. Okay, then I'll go onto the back and I'll kind of repeat the process. Just dab that paint around like so over the whole back. Then after your paint has dried, put it in the oven for another 15 minutes and this will heat set the paint. Uh, now you can uh, seal this if you want to, but I'm going to leave it the way it is because really you're not going to be able to get this stuff off at all. Okay. So 
The next step is going to be to string it. So I've got these hemp cords here, which I think will match nicely with the kind of organic feel that we're going for here. And so I've got one blue, two browns, and three uh, whites, or off-whites at least. And I'm just going to take this and I'm going to make sure they're all roughly the same length. And I'll grab the other side and do the same. Just grab onto those and make sure that they're roughly around the same size. There we go. That'll work. Okay. Then just take those and I'm just twisting them. And I'm bringing over this uh, brass bead that I have. And I'm going to force those cords together through that hole. It can take a little bit to get that going, but I should be able to do it. There we go. Okay, then just bring that down the length. Okay, and then pull on any that need to uh, be tightened. So I need to tighten this brown here. Hold on. There we go. And that blue's fine. There we go. Okay. There we go. Not quite happy with that. Then I'm going to take those and I'm going to make sure that I have the an equal number of colours on each side. Yep. Then just take those and I'm just straightening them out. And I will trim them so that they're all the same length. There we go. And bring this cord in over. Pop all those cords in. And then of course flatten cord end, trapping in all of the cords, like so, give it a quick yank to make sure they're all trapped in there, grab a jump ring and the clasp that you have chosen and attach and repeat on the other side, okay and there we go, that's how it uh, should look. So. That's basically it for this tutorial. Now please bear in mind that you can use any texture for this. It can be a raised texture or it can be an indented texture. Um, for those of you who are in winter right now, a, a good idea that I thought of while I was making this was you could actually take um, uh, leaves from your local evergreens and you could press that into the clay instead of the shell texture. Uh, after you'd applied the crowns and the crowns would be kind of a green and brown uh, and then just basically repeat the process that I have here so that it would match the season obviously I'm midsummer right now so I'm kind of thinking beach so that's why I went with the uh, shell thing so yeah that's basically the tutorial if you're interested in the stamp or uh, cutter it is currently on sale on my Etsy shop uh, and it will be for 24 hours after this tutorial has uh, dropped so please do check that out please keep in mind that if you're watching this as a patron the sale does only start once this video releases on youtube publicly so just keep that in mind so anyway i hope you enjoyed the tutorial let me know in the comments if you did and i'll see you in the next video bye for now